Alright guys, welcome to the next part of my 25th Let's Play, which is NCIS for the Nintendo Wii. Time to continue examining with Abby. high grade explosive known as 22NBH. Whoa! These guys weren't messing around. Oops. There we go. The residue on the paint chips found in the bank's garage is a rare pollutant found only near rubber processing plants. Interesting. Now we gotta mash the bullet. Same one. Alright. We got a positive match there. Nine millimeter slugs. So looks like we're gonna do another deduction board. Well, we know what kind of car they have, but that's not enough to trace them. We're gonna need McGee to track down the pollutant we found on the paint chip so we can narrow the search. Why would these guys go through all this trouble to steal so little money? Bad planning? Nope. There's something else. Boss, there's someone from the UAE Embassy here who wants to talk to us. UAE Embassy? Yeah, they're in the same building as the bank. Want me to take this one? Be my guest. Thanks, boss. Alright, let's jump into another interview, I guess. And who might you be? I am Mariam Malak, assistant to the deputy ambassador, Sheikh Hosni Abdusalim. Well, hello there. I'm very special agent Anthony Dinozo. It is a pleasure, though it would be more so under different circumstances. So you're the assistant to the deputy ambassador, huh? As I said, I am a representative of the Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates. So what can I do for you today? I would like to report a break-in. Yeah, we already know about the bank robbery. There was another break-in. The UAE Embassy offices are on the 11th floor of the Franklin and Jefferson Capital Bank building. At the same time the bank was being robbed, so was our office. So the UAE Embassy was robbed. You know what was taken? Nothing. Not much of a robbery then, now is it? Nothing taken, but whoever broke in attempted to get into a secure safe. Luckily, they were unsuccessful. You didn't see them? No. Why not? The power went out during the robbery, and the embassy was evacuated as part of our standard protocols. What was in the safe? Immigration papers, diplomatic endorsements, blank passports, and the embassy's petty cash. That is? We were warned by our government that other UAE embassies have experienced break-ins. We were advised to put all sensitive documentation under special security. And nothing was missing? No. You sure? We double-checked. Nothing is missing or unaccounted for. Thank you, Miss Mary Mollop. If you think of anything else, please don't hesitate to call us, or me, anytime. Thank you, Agent Dinozo. My government begs for your discretion in this matter. Discretion is my middle name. <laughs> Looks like the bank wasn't the only place hit during the robbery. No. The power at the UAE Embassy on the 11th floor went out during the bank job. They had a break-in as well, though nothing seems to be missing. Been more than a robbery here. Go check it out. What am I looking for? Whatever you missed last time, Dinozo. Alright, so now we gotta go back to the bank and check out that switch. The building manager told me the breaker panels are over here somewhere. I need to find a circuit breaker panel. Here's the breaker panel. A locked panel door. 
Let's see what's behind. There's some sort of strange residue on this breaker switch. I'm gonna take a photo. So here's some suspicious dust. Got what I came for. Time to head back to the office. Hey, Abs. Tony! What do you got? Looks like someone cut the power to the 11th floor of the building during the bank robbery. What makes you think that? There's some strange residue on the 11th floor breaker switches you should test. Okay, I'm on it. Now we gotta process the breaker switch. And there we go. The residue on this switch matches the residual explosive we found in the bank. Whoever blew the floor out of the bank also turned off the power to the 11th floor. So now I think we're gonna do a deduction yes. board. None of this stuff adds up. Let's go to the deduction board. Let's see what we can find. This won't elude me for long. Time to earn your lab coat. Try again. Time to earn your lab. Try again. Why do you think that, Abs? Found what we were looking for. This won't elude me for long. Why don't you explain it to me, Abs? That's supposed to make sense, Abs? There we go. Just what I thought. So the robbers targeted the UAE embassy. This won't elude me for long. What does that mean, Abs? Found what we were looking for. Why do you think that, Abs? And there oh, we go. Come on, Gibbs. I know you see what I see. So the bank was a cover. So we're done with the deduction board. So these guys weren't just robbing the bank. Nope. We should have enough for McGee to be able to track them down. If he's up and around. All right. McGee's You are one lucky man, McGee. Yes, he is. He was nearly killed by bombing. I'm not talking about the bomb. You are not? You're not? No. The crutches. Ladies love a man on crutches. Really? And how do you know this? Back when I was with Baltimore PD, I tore a ligament in my knee tackling a suspect who tried to rabbit. it. I heard a pop, and that was that. Six weeks on crutches. Very heroic. The ladies were all over me. And what crime did this suspect commit? <laughs> Doesn't matter. All that matters is that I caught him and brought him in. Taking down a mass murderer is very different than tackling, say, a teenager accused of shoplifting. Kid was almost 20, okay? When you're done reminiscing, Dinozo, we got bad guys <laughs> to catch. McGee, what do you got? Nothing yet, boss. I just got back. I noticed. Now go get me something. Right, boss. <laughs> All right. Investigation time with Biggie. Three, one, nine, seven, four. There we go. None of those can be it.
So here's the getaway driver's address. And there we go. Looks like we'll be paying you a visit, Miss Bondari. Let's go. And that happens. So now we gotta investigate her place. Not our jurisdiction. I'll talk to the FBI. You get whatever you can find out of it. Got it? Jackie will be here soon. Yes, Gibbs. Alright. Are you ready, Ziba? Go. Hey, look. It's the epicenter of the blast. We should get some samples of the explosive. I am on it. Somebody set this fire on purpose. We should be able to find traces of whatever they need. Here's the explosive Looks residue. like we have all we need from the fire and explosion. These look like the tools a forgery artist would use. Gonna have to move the couch in order to get to it. Time to move on. One, two, three. All right, the path is clear. Let's go take pictures. This has got to get moved. Piece of cake. I gotta, gotta move this. Ziva, you're up. Got a safe over here. Alright, let's try to crack the safe. Okay. Just on that one. Gotta turn it clockwise again. There we go. Yeah. Broken hard drive. The geek's gonna be in heaven when he gets his sweaty palms on this. One, two, three. Here's Ducky. Oh, sorry I'm late. Traffic is especially bad today. So, uh, let's get started, shall we? Zeva, can you get a photo of the victim for me? Of course, Ducky. Yeah, I get this refrigerator. Are you ready, up. Tony? Thank you both for getting that dreadful appliance off this poor woman. Here's Holly bon Bond Bondi. You both have done a splendid job. Well, what do we have here? A passport. A passport. What? Are you gonna eat up a bean burrito? I think we have enough to confirm Gibbs' feeling right. about this being related to a terrorist group. And we'll see you guys in the next part.